All right, everyone. This right here is the uh, front foyer to this hospital. So here was like the front desk. And people would come and check in. This is where they'd have to come in first. Here there was like a gift shop. And a florist right here. abandoned hospital here if you take a look this here was like the dining area you can see the electricity still on in here Through here, we found the morgue. If you take a look, these were the tables where they used to examine and do autopsies on the dead bodies. And over there as well, if you look, there's all types of biohazard here left behind. Oh, gross. Yeah, there's like blood samples or something over here. They all have numbers and stuff on them. All right. They have lidocaine injection. And if you look over here, you can see that the, these look like some type of skin samples. They all have numbers on them. And up here. Not sure what this is. This might be some liquid iodine. It looks like that color. It's definitely not blood, but you can see it right there. Actually, it says what it is on it. Bact 
back to layer SN. This is crazy, all the stuff they left here. Oh. EM specimens, extra embedded tissue. I wonder what they used to keep in here, biohazard. And through here is where they used to keep the bodies refrigerated before they brought them out. See this stretcher used to transport the bodies. Wonder where this goes back here. That's another room. Maybe this was for the high profile celebrity bodies in here. Hospital. Uh, if you take a look, it's just in the authorized personnel only. Take a look here. We have this area here. Looks like some type of check in or something. And uh, through here, you can see we have some elevators. This is the only one that's open right here. You can see it's still got partial power. And then through here, um, we found like some decam D um, contamination chamber. Here looks like they had like some maintenance, maybe some cleaning stuff. And then right through here was like this decontamination chamber. If you take a look here, I guess you could put things through here and 
shows people how to use it. Here's all the electrical for it. And then right here, they put things through here. And it would, uh, you come in on one side here, and you come out the other. Over here, if you take a look, you can see there's another stretcher here. I'm not sure if they used to push bodies through this. It looks like they did. Has pulleys. Sterile washing right there. Ooh. And here's a dumb leader for sending. Looks like they use this to send biohazard between floors. What'd you do? You hit the button, it made a, made a noise. Oh yeah, you hit the button, it makes a noise. Huh. Is thing still working? Yeah. yeah. It's trying to, oh, the water shut off and it will be a problem. Type of sterilizer. Yeah, we're not gonna sterilize anything today. It doesn't, you know, that doesn't want to work. It's a day on there, 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Inspected uh, 20, uh, yeah, 2017. Huh. So the next inspection was uh, 18. Oh, there's another one over here, but this one doesn't have power. Yeah, there's even a like a receipt printout in here from. 4 6 2018. Wow. You gotta turn it on. See that switch on the side of you? That's okay. I don't know. It's, got, that one's got a, what do you call it? Look, it's got a receipt in it. Oh, yeah. through here was the hospital's administration area. Oh, looks like it's been pretty heavily vandalized through here. If you look, you can see there's all kinds of stuff in here. Like we've had some scrappers in here. Just be careful, Dennis. There are people out over there. The window's broken out, and there are people like right there. everyone if you take a look still exploring this abandoned hospital here uh, you can see some areas still have power and uh, right now uh, we're going to be checking out the operating area if you look this here was like a nurse's station
And through here, this may have been also some type of operating room. Looks like they had oxygen stuff in here. Oh, there's a tub over here. All right. That's what that is? Oh. That's from the original floor was legit in that bag. Oh. I should have known that's what the tub was for. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, look at this, huh? Here were birthing rooms, I guess. The one on the other side with the tub, and then here you can see. There was more than that, though. Yeah, I know. All right, everyone, today we are going into the surgical area at this abandoned hospital here. Take a look, this was one of the operating rooms. Um, sadly, the lights and stuff have been ripped down in this room, but there are a couple other ones that still have the lights and stuff. So this area here was the suite um, where the doctors would prep. Uh, before the surgery. If you look over here, there are a couple more sterilizers. Uh, autoclave. 10 minute requirements for everything flash in flash and flash pack. Alrighty. Alright, and then through here is when doctors are prepared to operate. They come through here. And then right in here was one of the rooms. If you look, lights are still in here, still has power. Looks like they're either blueprints for the room or parts list. Oh yeah. If you look here, here's one of the lights. I remember these used to work, maybe not so much now. If I can find a button, I'll hit it and see if they go on. Um, somebody vandalized the x-ray the viewer here. Here are some more controls. I'm assuming this was probably for nitrogen like the other room said. And this here used to be for the lights, but yeah, it doesn't work anymore.
Let's go check out some of the other rooms here, see what's left. You can see this was OR6 for operating room six. Um, through here was another one. And what the lights are going. You can see this was the operating room. Gas control panel. X-rays. Line monitors. Oh, here we go. Oh, looks like there's a couple IVs here just hanging. Look here, here's an x-ray screen, but this one doesn't work either. Uh, funny thing is, is this one does work. All right, so this is cool. Over here we have some type of device. A Massimo Rainbow SCT. And then we have a certificate of achievement. And this looks like another piece to that Massimo thing. And if you look right here, you can see here are the lights for this room. Uh, if I can find the control panel, I'll try these out and see if they work. Oh, let's see here. No, that's not it. I don't see the control panel for these lights. All right. Anyway, the science is operating room number four. Uh, you can see the water damage here. And through here is uh, the operating room. This one smells real bad because of the water. If you look above me here, there's real bad water damage. Uh, you have your lights here. And then we have one over there. And I'll see if they'll go on, but you can see there's all water and mold in here. That's why I'm definitely wearing a mask today. I know some people wonder, but yeah, I'm definitely wearing the mask. And yeah, none of these lights work either. All right. And I believe that's it for operating rooms in here. Um, on the way out, we'll see what else we can show you. All right, guys, so this is the last operating room in this operating suite here. Um, if you take a look, uh, the light still works in this one. Pretty cool. Uh, not sure if the x-ray things work here. Nope, not in this one.
some more manuals in here and how to work stuff. That way. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. So now. Scrappers. It's like a locker room. rather go the way we came if we can. Oh, here's the thing where all the names are. Yes. Oh, shit. I just saw my daughter. Maya. Oh, yeah, there it is. Remember, we yeah. couldn't find it? Yeah. No 32816. How did we miss it that day? Make sure you get the picture. Oh, yes. Right? Cool. See those guys? This is a 